Welcome to day three of Aura Alignment. Hello, if you are new here, my name is Ebony. I am a human design and Gene Keys reader, expert, and coach. And today we are talking about regulating your nervous system. Now, before we jump in, I just want to remind you that my human design and Gene Keys readings are officially open and they will be for the next few days. However, early bird pricing will be ending tomorrow, February 10th. So the price will be going up. So if you want to get, if you want to book a reading with me at the lower price, you're going to want to make sure you book your reading before the end of tomorrow, February 10th. And then the readings will close on February 14th. So if you're interested in getting a human design and Gene Keys reading with me, keep that in mind. Okay. So the reason we're going to be talking about nervous system regulation for this last day is because there is a lot of mindset work that goes into working with your human design, right? We talked about that yesterday, identity change versus behavioral change. The problem is it is really difficult for your body to take in information, to properly operate in the world when you are constantly in survival mode, when you are in fight, flight, fawn, or freeze, when you are overwhelmed, when you are anxious or stressed out, even when you're feeling numb, right? When you're disconnected, you are not, your body is not operating at, at optimal level in order to number one, take in the information that you're getting through the series, through your design in general. And then number two, to actually take action on that thing, right? We suffer in our society from chronic stress, right? Our bodies, you know, were designed in order to keep us safe, right? The splenic center, our intuition, our reptilian brain, right? All of these systems have developed over years and years and centuries of us being alive in order to keep us safe. Now that we have, you know, modern conveniences and, you know, cities and police officers, you know, we don't have to be as on guard as we used to be back when we were living in caves, right? We don't have to worry about mountain lions rolling up and just, you know, biting a piece of our limbs off in most cases, right? That's not something that we have to worry about anymore. But our bodies are still operating at a primal level. So anytime we experience a situation that causes us stress, our body thinks of it as I'm about to die. Like I'm literally like this thing is going to kill me. When in actuality, you're just running a few minutes late for work. And that is stressful because you know you need to work to live. But your the way your mind is conceptualizing it and the way your body is responding to it are not on the same level. Because your body is thinking we're going to die and your brain's just like my boss is going to be upset with me. So when we are not regulated, when our nervous system is not regulated, when we are constantly in this stressed out, overwhelmed or disconnected state, it's hard to make, not impossible, but it is very difficult to make sustainable changes, especially when we're talking about, you know, from a human design level, um, you know, just surrendering, right? Allowing, right? Only doing the work that excites you. Our brain, our, our body is like, we cannot do that. We cannot just surrender. We cannot just let go or we are going to die. No, I'm not gonna fucking do that. What you, excuse me? No, you're trying to kill me. You are trying to kill me. So when we're doing this work, we want to make sure we are coming from a resourced and regulated space, which is why this last day, even though it's day three, I think is probably the most important aspect of this entire course. So if you are not registered for Aura Alignment, I highly recommend that you do because in the workbook today, and those of you who are registered, you will have that workbook. I am going to go through three different exercises that will help you to regulate your nervous system and get you back to a place of equilibrium, homostasis, homostasis, homeostasis, and stability. Now, the reason why this connects with human design is because there's levels 
there's energy levels to nervous system regulation. This is something that I just learned and it's been a game changer for me. So there are low energy individuals, there are high energy individuals, and then there are individuals who are more balanced. So I have actually correlated this to the amount of defined centers, especially motor centers that are in your specific human design chart, right? So depending on how many energy centers you have defined, that is going to be a pretty good indicator of whether you are a high energy individual, a low energy individual, or a balanced individual. And these energy levels also correlate to the um, levels of dysregulation that we can experience in our nervous system. So there's dorsal, there's sympathetic, and then there is overwhelm, right? So these three levels correlate to the three energy levels. And depending upon your um, amount of defined centers in your body graph, that's going to determine which of the nervous system regulation exercises are going to work best for you. However, I always want to recommend and impress upon you who are listening to follow your authority and do what feels right for you. If there is an exercise in the workbook that according to my calculations works best for you, but you want to try the other two to see how they feel and see if they work better, absolutely do that. Right? You do not have to take my word as gospel. I actually don't want you to do that. This is an experiment for me, just like it's an experiment for you. I have a lot of knowledge. I am very good at applying human design to other areas, but I am not you. I do not know you the way that you know you. So if you want to take the time and the space to try out all of the exercises to see which works, which works best for you, I absolutely encourage you to do that. So. If you are interested in getting a human design and gene keys reading with me, again, my readings will be open until the 14th. Um, early bird pricing is ending tomorrow on the 10th. So if you would like to grab a reading at the lower price, you want to do so before the end of day tomorrow. If you would like all of the workbooks from this free course, make sure you click the link in my description box to register for that. And also the link for my readings will be down below as well. Thank you so much for joining me for this free course and I will see you in my next video.